DNA is not human. Can you imagine the DNA of something that once lived in mythology being brought back together? I also brought up the fact that the Russians, who don't lie about this stuff to the degree the U.S. does, basically found the actual skeletal remains of a satyr, half human, and a goat. They've also basically found the giants that I talk about. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to know where all the giant skeletons go, Alex, you saw the story about the FBI going to the, the 91-year-old artifacts collector's home with 200 vehicles. Did you see that story? Uh, are you there? We lost your audio for a yeah. moment. No, no, I said, did you see the story about the FBI going to the artifacts collector, 91-year-old with 200 vehicles? Yes. Okay, when people ask me where all the giants, where all the ancient stuff that's found in history goes, it goes into the control of the Illuminati. They're well, that's, I mean, I mean, they tell us that at the end of Raiders of the Lost Ark, where the Ark goes into a whole warehouse of stuff. Absolutely. In Xenogenesis, one of the most amazing stories parts of it, and i got to share this with everyone. Chapter 13 was given to me by a dear friend, first name Will, and he had the, the opportunity to basically get a deathbed confession by one of the highest ranking members of the intelligence community ever to spill the beans. And the basis of it, the 32nd version is, is that the chemtrails are genetically modifying us to the atmosphere that was present when these evil entities came back. Some people call it terraforming, I call it terror-forming. And he said that it's even this, the, the, the CIA guy told him that it was designed to change the visible light spectrum because when God put the rainbow and people don't want to hear about God, well, they better hear about this because people say the weirdest colors are in the sky. I see this stuff and people get sick. They're destroying the very barriers that the... Bill Gates runs the program, but it's classified. It's in the news that they run a $5 billion a year, one program. They call it uh, Geo engineering and then we talk about it and they go oh that doesn't exist there's just all sorts of crazy let me ask you this why in the 60s did they detonate over 100 high power hydrogen bombs in the upper atmosphere as the uh, William Shatner Discovery Channel documentary shows Trinity uh, Trinity and beyond to try to blow up the Van Allen radiation belt or detonate the atmosphere there's London Guardian Bill Gates backs climate scientists lobbying for large-scale geoengineering they're already doing it why what were they trying then they were trying to release the barriers. They were trying to blow open the barriers so that the, quote, alien savior, actually Lucifer and his fallen angels, Satan now, that could come through. And see, this is what the, the whole thing was Stargates. And look, this is critical because this stuff we're talking about, when we're talking about the rainbow, and this is in my book, Xenogenesis, and ladies and gentlemen, Alex, seriously, it's the most important thing that I've ever written. I don't even know where to go. There's nothing more I can say, but in it, just the very fact that they're trying to electromagnetically destroy the very boundaries and barriers that the living God created to keep all this stuff out of our realm of existence because he loves us. Now the Luciferians and the globalists are one and the same, are breaking every boundary, whether it's genetic, whether it's moral, whether it's philosophical, whether it's historical. Well, NASA even admits that they've never recorded this. The, the, the Earth's magnetic field is getting weaker, and the pole isn't just shifting, it's dying. Absolutely. And see, this is something people don't understand. It was explained to me by one of the brightest guys I've ever met. He's probably listening to the show or will. But gravity is not a wave, and this is not going to get super scientific. It's a pressure. And that pressure, if you put pressure, how do you stop bleeding? We you put, you put your, your fingers or a bandage or some form of tourniquet, you try and put pressure on that to clot. Understand, these guys are releasing all of the darkest, evil, most wicked entities in the spirit realm. People can say they don't believe it, but look at where science is going. Look at the new movie, Transcendence, okay? It's not out yet, but with Johnny Depp. I promise you, when you go and see that, I've never seen it. I didn't even know it was out. You would swear that basically some of my chapters were integrated. Now, I'm not saying they stole my stuff or anything like that. What I'm telling The point you is, is it's just like Superman with the Phantom Zone. Again, I never get into this stuff, Steve. But what I know is, whether this is real or not, the elite at Bohemian Grove Skull and Bones believe they're in contact with entities. They believe they're channeling them for the knowledge. So, so, so regardless, the elite are sacrificing children, are running pedophile rings, are doing all of this, believing it gives them satanic power. So regardless, archetypally, in a Carl Jung way, 
this you know this is something that needs to be looked at we'll be right back a lot of people's lives and bodies are out of balance. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops optimize pH level and get rid of harmful waste and acid. Just a few drops in water restores vibrance and energy and gets you back in balance. Now order two bottles and get $10 off your order. Sign up for monthly auto shipping and save 25%. Call 800-518-7615 or visit alkavision.com. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at alkavision.com. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carting to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. A 30-day GMO-free emergency food supply for only $99 at 30dayfoodsupply.com. You can purchase Oregon Trail Foods' one-month supply of high-quality, nutritious, and healthy emergency meals. For less than $100, these vegetarian meals are naturally high in fiber, carbs, and protein, and they're packed with oxygen absorbers in Mylar pouches. They're completely free of any artificial flavors and colorings, have a 20-year shelf life, and take up to 70% less space than number 10 cans. They even offer a gluten free option. Oregon Trail Foods and 30dayfoodsupply.com keep prices low by buying directly from the producers in Oregon and then passing the savings to you. Purchase a 30-day 90-serving emergency food supply for only $99 this month and $10 ships your entire order. Visit the website at 30dayfoodsupply.com or call 541-229-0010. That's 30dayfoodsupply.com where they make preparedness affordable. 30dayfoodsupply.com. Every day it becomes more clear our nation is headed towards an uncertain future. Nothing can ensure your family's security like an Atlas Survival Shelter. The strongest money can buy and designed to be buried up to 42 feet deep with all the comforts of home and all the protection you need. Bulletproof hatches, tamper-resistant air pipes, and a unique ground design that'll withstand a bomb. See them today at IWantThatBunker.com or call 1-855-4-BUNKER. Atlas Survival Shelters. Better prepared than scared. Attention all radio listeners. Survival Life is giving away free credit card knives exclusively to our radio listeners here today. Visit MyCreditCardKnife.com to see this covert knife in action and claim yours for free. It's the same knife you've seen in the airline magazines for $29.95, but today it's yours free. Just pay shipping and handling. MyCreditCardKnife.com, MyCreditCardKnife.com. Go now. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. <laughs> From the Infowars.com studios, I'm Alex Jones. You know, I, I've had Steve Quell on probably 30 times, 40 times, I don't know, in the last 18, 19 years. He was one of the first guests I would get on on talk radio um, back in 1996. I got on Access TV in 95. And, I mean, I got to be honest. I knew politically he really knew what he was talking about. But I just didn't buy into all this stuff. I've been criticized a lot because I won't get into the esoteric stuff, the exoteric just because I can't prove it. Uh, but you see the elite's obsession with it. They believe it. So whether it's true or not, they're operating like they're God. They're going to merge with machines. It's all over the news. Bill Clinton says he wouldn't be surprised if aliens don't arrive soon. The Vatican's saying get ready for them to, I mean, uh, 
who was it came out this week? Because uh, I meant to cover it. Was it Henry Kissinger again? Who was it? And it said if, you know, it was Clinton said in the interview too, in fact, find that clip, guys, that if aliens attacked, it would unify us in a planetary government. They might have fake ones. They, I mean, who knows? We know Project Bluebeam was fake aliens. You know, what about that scenario, um, Steve Quayle, of the Project Bluebeam? You've talked a lot about that as well. Well, Project Bluebeam is real, but it's more sophisticated than that now, Alex. And the point being is, you know, the Bible talks about giving uh, life to a beast or the image of a beast. But I think what's critical for people to understand is that the truth is a very, very endangered uh, uh, pattern of thought. And with all the information coming out from uh, DARPA, Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, and all of the uh, plans to read our minds, control our minds, assimilate us into the Borg. Look, here's the deal. Agenda 21 is to move people into the cities where they can. Not, it's easier for them to kill people or control people. The technology exists now to read minds, to basically put thoughts in our minds, and the time is coming where all, and I want to get to Hollywood really quick. Ladies and gentlemen, Hollywood is the mouthpiece of the Illuminati. You are being conditioned, you are being brain, uh, not washed, you're being brain uh, dunged, D-U-N-G-E-D. Why would, why would the new Captain America basically admit that there's a criminal hydra group in control of a global government playing countries off against each other that has Google NSA systems to protect the future of the 20 million people they want to exterminate to bring in world government? Because, Alex, they have to. It's almost like, and I believe this is true, and I'd encourage people who are praying people to pray about it, it's they get a great sense of mockery and a great sense, almost the one guy told me who was a luminous, he said it, it's like a sexual uh, charge out of... Well, in magic, in lesser magic, you have to announce it first. Yes, and that's exactly what they are. These people and entities are absolutely uh, giving themselves high fives over how dumb the people are. Here's how it goes. We're going to tell them what we're going to do. We're going to reinforce them what they're going to do. We're going to tell them we're going to kill them. We're going to tell them we're going to take all their stuff. And as we kill them and take all their stuff, they'll never know what hit them. That's they why I've been told we're still alive, even though they've done a lot of harassment and attacked me before, is that... They get a sick satisfaction out of it, but really that's on the surface that there's a spiritual rule that they have to let us sit there and tell what they're doing from also the good perspective. Absolutely, because again, I've asked, I've, I've tried to get off talk radio. I've, I left a couple times, you probably heard, and then, you know, basically, the Lord said, nope, go back on, because I believe I've been a watchman in the classic sense of telling people what's going to happen. And, you know, you don't, I, I don't know how you handle it, Alex, but I really do get tired sometimes of, of the professional Northcom 200 cyber warriors, you know, inventing lies, making lies, screwing with my computer, screwing with everything, you know. And look, you talk about the Van Allen radiation belt. Project Argosy was one of the very first things. When I wrote the book Weather Wars, man, people couldn't believe it, even though I quoted Defense Secretary Bill Cohen. Uh, I, yeah, when was I, that? You wrote that like in 98, right? Yeah. And I mean, how long ago was that? Now we see what we're seeing and people are still shaking their heads and don't believe it. Uh, you know, when I could quote 4686605 and all the other patents, uh, you know, that's the heart patent and, and just... There's more than 10,000 patents on weather control. The Absolutely. Eastman patents, I mean, it's just unbelievable. So when you get to that point, you know, you ask yourself, and, and I, I came to this conclusion. Number one, I want to be obedient to the living God. Number two, I, I really do like people. I love people. I don't want them to die. I hate the enemy. I hate the works of darkness. And by the way, you and I are still alive by the intercessors out there that are praying for us night and day. There are times I pray, and you know this, and I'm not saying whoopee, I'm just saying there are times when I've asked the radio audience that I've gotten, sometimes, you know, it's, it's in the millions on Doug Hagman the, the, to pray for you because I know what their plans are. But guess what, Alex? God always has a remnant. A little Hispanic lady, I'll, I'll give this to you. It'll, it'll bless you the rest of your life. Uh, her name was Mary Juarez. Stay there. Stay there. we got to go to break. Tell us what Mary Juarez said on the other side. We've got a V for Vendetta intro. And then we're going to go directly, and you'll be with us, Steve, for any comments you've got uh, to the rancher. Uh, the, the, the patriarch out there, the 53 families that have been run out, he's the last standing. We're going to be talking to him. We're on the march. The empire's on the run. 
Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network.